Today's scripture reading begins in verse 7 of Colossians chapter 4. As to all my affairs, Tychicus, our beloved brother and faithful servant and fellow bondservant in the Lord, will bring you information. For I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know about our circumstances and that he may encourage your hearts. And with him, Onesimus, our faithful and beloved brother, who is one of your number. They will inform you about the whole situation here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, sends you his greetings, and also Barnabas's cousin, Mark, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him, and also Jesus, who is called Justice. These are the only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are from the circumcision and they have proved to be an encouragement to me. Epaphras, who is one of your number, a bond slave of Jesus Christ, sends you his greetings, always laboring earnestly for you in his prayers, that you may stand perfect and fully assured in all the will of God. For I testify for him that he has a deep concern for you and for those who are in Laodicea and Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, sends you his greetings, and also Demas. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea, and also Nympha, and the church that is in her house. When this letter is read among you, have it also read in the church of the Laodiceans. And you, for your part, read my letter that is coming from Laodicea. Say to Archippus, Take heed, to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. Every word of Scripture is profitable for us, and that includes today's Scripture passage, the final greetings and instructions at the close of Colossians. Although reading a list of names may not seem edifying at first, doing so provides a lesson on living with a committed Christian community. The people Paul mentions are all examples of faithful servants of God. For instance, Tychicus brought Paul's letter from Rome to Colossae since the apostle was in prison. The distance is about 900 miles as the crow flies, but it was much farther for Tychicus, who had to sail around Italy and across the Mediterranean Sea before traveling through Asia Minor on foot. Yet he faithfully endured the hardship in order to bring Paul's letter to the Colossians and to us, since the epistle is now part of the New Testament. Onesimus exemplifies a life transformed by Christ. This runaway slave was a valuable servant not only to his former master, but also to Paul. Then, Epaphras was a faithful intercessor for the church in Colossae, and Luke was a committed companion to Paul during the apostles' travels and imprisonment and Nympha is acknowledged for hospitality in opening her home as a meeting place for the church. In the New Testament, those of us who are believers are instructed to be faithful stewards, live transformed lives, pray for one another, serve humbly, and practice hospitality, so Jesus' love is apparent to those who don't know Him. As the people in today's scripture passage show, your actions can reflect Christ even more than words do.